Welcome to your weekly reading for September the 18th to the 24th. I'm Robin Perlion from Raw Tarot, and let's see what Spirit has in store for you for this week. Oh my goodness, okay. Ooh, okay, the Hanging Man. That is looking at things from a different perspective. Ooh. And then here is your action card. This is the death card. And that means that there are things that are coming to the end of a cycle. And it is, it is time for you to make way, make room for all of the new things that are coming in. We are approaching and in this week, we are moving into fall. We're moving into autumn and that is very very significant for growth for you now Ooh, i love that um so i want to also uh bring to your attention that both of those are major arcanas those are big life changes there's big things going on oh my gosh and here we go this one here it's the devil card and this one is looking at things paying attention to things you need to bring something needs to be brought to your attention you probably already know what this is now when this card comes up and this is something that has been coming up in the energy lately um is making sure that you are um like checking in on yourself as in like health wise like you're having regular checkups um, that you are looking at the things in your foundation. So how this comes up showing that there is, there's something to, uh, be dealt with and moved. And like, there's a cycle that needs to like be completely finished. So this here, it's, it's like, you're you're breaking the chain you're breaking the bond to something it could be some sort of um addiction that you may have and that could be an addiction to um well any sort of thing so um what this is bringing attention to is saying like yeah break the bond um and the cycle and there's like new ways to look at things okay so make sure oh uh, wow like i i'm absolutely flabbergasted <laughs> with these cards because this here is saying this there's a different way to look at things so when you're hanging upside down you're looking at the world from a completely different way and so that is what spirit wants you to know wow this is like kind of like a schooling a very much like it's time like maybe spirit saying like you know um we have been you know, sending you messages repeatedly. And now we're saying like, it's time to end it. So sometimes when we don't end things, then the spirit uh, pops on in and takes the reins. And then we might end up having some tower moments. So um, making sure that, you know, you are listening to spirit and what spirit is saying this devil card, it's not a bad card. It's a card of saying, hey, you know what? Like, I know that there are things that I have to look at. And um, the outcome of this week is for you making those decisions and saying, hey, you know what? Like, spirit is speaking loud and clear. And there's definitely changes that I have to make to your routine, to your, to your, to your daily practices, um, to things that maybe you know that you shouldn't be doing. Um, yeah, like there's like, like for instance, like I have a little note here and I have a note to remind me that I have one hour of social media time. So that's like for me to go on and like watch reels and just to kind of, you know, get lost in cat videos and stuff like that. So I really have to discipline myself and it doesn't work all the time, but it is something that I'm aware of. Um, also my health, like getting out for walks, um, doing uh, yoga. So yoga is something that I've really been getting into and like, you know, stretching your body out, really, really important. So it's like taking care of like all of the foundational things, making sure you're checking in on yourself, making sure that that you're checking in on 
others as well. Um, yeah, like this is a, this, this, because we're in that fall, there is that foundation. Uh, currently we still are in the Virgo. We're moving into the Libra energy. So there's that shift that's going to be happening as well. Um, but again, the, there's that big shift for you to be called like, you know, maybe spirit is saying like enough, enough is enough. Like you've been on this path or this, whatever it is. And you need to say, hey, you know what? I need to pick up and I need to change some things around. So here you have a card from the Archangel Tarot. And this one here is the Four of Ariel. This is the Four of uh, Pentacles. And so, or the Four of Coins. I was trying to say both at the same time. <laughs> so when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Hmm. Um, extremes in how you spend or save money. So with this, um, extremes in how you spend or save money, make sure that you are putting some money away. Make sure that you are investing in yourself, in your business. Um, make sure that you are just, you know, you're putting money aside for your dreams, for, for goals, okay? And then also like... Um, Maybe this is a time to look at things from a different perspective in ways that, you know, we don't need so much material stuff. Maybe it's the time to start working on yourself and really paying attention on you. OK, now also this is when you give, you also receive the power of giving is receiving is huge. So that's been something in the Virgo energy as well, is that um, it is not time necessarily to receive, but it is time to give. And giving is receiving. Giving is receiving. It is so incredibly beautiful and rewarding and abundant and it makes your energy jump up higher in your frequency like so so soaring soaring and so that's really beautiful energy there um but then also there's that being resistant to change so hey that happens to me that happens to all of us so really taking that message and saying, okay, what am I being resistant? What don't I want to change? What am I being stubborn about? Okay. These are questions that I have to ask myself and that I'm definitely going to ask myself when I'm done this reading, um, because there's quite the message here for us for this week. And I love it because I love spirit. I appreciate that spirit is with us, guiding us every single moment, every single second of the day. And so this is a really nice card. This one here is from the uh, Divine Energy Oracle. And so this one, um, Rejuvenate. Ooh, yes, it is time. It is time to change lanes. It's time to get out of the energy that you've been in. And it's time for you to check in with yourself. Okay. Rejuvenate, really feel all of the different ways that you can nurture yourself for this week. What an amazing reading this is. Um, this is like a big check-in, maybe make sh oh, making sure that you are checking in on yourself, that you are uh, rejuvenating, that you are um, really taking that time to do that self audit. That's something I talk about all the time because spirit always wants us to be changing things up, be working on things to really allow your energy to be extremely prime. Okay. So get your energy prime, do those check-ins on yourself, look at things from a different perspective and the cycles that have been maybe sticking around for too long, uh, break the bonds and move on in that amazing, incredible energy um, that you very well deserve. You will definitely be receiving, but please remember to do that uh, changing and be more flowing in that change, okay? And taking care of yourself for this week. So thank you so much. Have an amazing week ahead. I love you all. Mwah.